the book and the movie are in there together. This is the quiet room at the Mead Public Library, and they got quiet rooms inside the quiet room, private study room, reservation only. And there's nobody in here in the quiet room. It'll pick up though, probably. Also, this is really neat. Imagine going to this, uh, what is, what are they called again? This style, the Phoenix and whatever. These are really cool pieces of art. Very unique for their, oh, and this is a, you could tell this is Asian on the bottom. Asian style. They're probably only made by one person, though. In the quiet study room, they got pretty neat art on the roof. Art over here as well. Very uh, imaginative art. I mean, I guess gonna, Sheboygan's a pretty good sized city enough that they can have some crazy stuff. There's a duck enjoying this pretty neat water set up. Takes up a lot. <laughs> no swimming or wading. Uh oh, that duck is contemplating breaking the law. They take up all this space and take away from uh, parking space so they can charge metered parking. does look like a neat area to sit. I don't see any electricity though. There's no outlets. Oh, whatever there, but it's too far. All right, I like how my stomach is feeling so far. It's getting a little late, but I wanna get this chicken cooked. So if uh, my stomach gives me any problems, I'm eating more pepper, pretty much. I feel like the cinnamon has raised my blood pressure up a little bit. After consuming it, I noticed my heart was beating a little harder while sleeping, which is pretty uncommon on its own without an explanation. And I think it uh, comes down to the cinnamon. It affects the circulatory system. To make the heart beat harder, though, does that raise blood pressure? The way that uh, um, the chat GPT laid out a day's plan for a meal for me, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snack, when I said I had a, a sick stomach, it laid out a diet plan for me for that. I'm thinking that I would be interested in... Um, Using Jet Chat GTP Jet GPT as my as my dot as my my meal planner for like a week. I'll just uh, I'll consult with it and try to get some ideas through that because I'm I'm really bad at uh, choosing variety and that's that's maybe what got my stomach sick and and then uh, I can adjust it for any any. Uh, conditions i i evaluate myself say oh i feel this way use chinese chinese medicine or something and and then uh, lay out a diet for me man that's that's really that's really comforting to have that kind of tool available i get tempted to remove a gallon of water or two because i don't really cut into all of this but it's like, okay, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I really probably could live with four, but that's, that's not including in a real bad emergency, and I never want to be out of water. Having six feels very comfortable, but I'm like, okay, what if I could find a metal container that's a gallon, but not the vacuum sealed. Maybe I could switch out two of them for non-vacuum uh, non sealed containers. That way they would be smaller. 
and so that would save some room because it's ultimately I'm you know it's I'm trying to save room but uh, I need to keep water on me and I don't but I, and I don't need to keep them all vacuum sealed you know with the you know temperature regulated just uh four would be sufficient with that maybe replace two with non vacuum sealed Oh my god. Are those speakers? Jeez. Two 12 inch speakers. The motor's loud enough. There's an ambulance over there. We're still in Sheboygan. They're next to the, the Best Buy. And they got their own Wi Fi. Public Wi Fi. It's not working for me. They're driving around with Wi-Fi in the ambulance. All right, I paid $500 for a uh, Insta360 X4. I'm just too curious. Sheboygan has the last one. There's only one in stock. Maybe they're just not expecting many sales. Chicago had zero. You'd think Chicago would sell them. So I decided to use uh, cards from uh, the old GoPro Fusion. I'm just not very happy with the GoPro Fusion. So I'll use the SD cards from it to use on a, the Insta360. I just plugged the uh, Insta360 in. I said it's at 66%. Getting this thing online, it's going to be interesting. Uh, it's at 66 percent last time i checked so yeah i just got to play with it right out of the box it's fairly new all right i've applied the screen this is the best i can do there is a threat of the mosquitoes going down and then through and out but i think i could probably uh, when it gets really bad bulk it up with even plastic bags or something socks just to tighten up this bottom section it, um, in between rolling the windows up and down. I don't think this screen by itself will be a problem. It extends down to here. I got a magnets up to hold it all up. I think it, it can hold up pretty good and I can just keep it on at all times, especially when it's getting hot now. <laughs> and then I'm gonna cut the excess off here so it's shaped nicely and I want to do the same for the other side have a, a permanent screen it doesn't look that visible from a distance with the window down a little bit got a screen now for all these bugs and then with this excess screen I can uh, use some magnets cut off a little piece and use some magnets to cover the open holes where mosquitoes will get in as well they'll get in through this opening as well so i want to put a big screen covering it including this hole they might be able to get in through like a hole like here i'm not sure how how far up that goes i can't quite reach yeah, it goes up high, so they could get in through this hole, these holes as well. I want to plug, but I don't, I don't, I like the airflow, so I'd want to just put like something that's really light, just enough to keep mosquitoes from flying in. All right, this, uh, this is covering a little bit, it's a little bit better than, uh, yeah, I think all these holes up here are probably open for mosquitoes to come through. Because uh, they've surprised me how they've gotten in in the past. And it's probably been because of these open holes. Which I created, of course. So my stomach started getting a sick feeling coming on. And as soon as I felt that, I immediately went for the black pepper. And had a few of those balls and the sickness went away a little bit uh 
came back a little bit, then I had more pepper and it went away. <laughs> I'm just, I'm fighting this sickness feeling with black pepper right now. I believe black pepper is more effective than ginger. And I just had some cloves too. Cloves seem to bring a different kind of relief. I'm uh, gonna focus on these digestive aids and see uh, where my stomach wants to take me. <clears throat> so yesterday my uh, stomach started giving me a sick feeling just it was the very beginnings of a sick feeling and I wasted no time in having some uh, some more black pepper I had maybe 10 balls of these chewed on 10 balls and that that uh, made the sick the sick feeling go away so Black pepper is my my go-to for a sick stomach right now. I, I mean, it's working. Uh, and if yeah, if the sick stomach wants to s still keep coming, I'll keep eating black pepper. Um, it's it's a it's a strange condition to to have, but uh, I'm just gonna just gonna work with it. So apparently a garden dibbler or garden dibble is used for planting seeds. All right, I've been thinking about these water containers and how I'm not really going through them all. And I've come up with the conclusion that I'm going to just take one and empty it out and just use it as a storage. And then if I find that I need to start filling uh, more, keeping more water on me, maybe even two. Keep, if I want to keep more water on me, I can empty the storage and start using it for water again. But right now it's just, I don't think it's needed to have six of these containers full of water. So, yeah. I could fit my hand inside. I really like it for that. So I just got to think about what would I like to store in one or two of them. And I want to keep the lids off so there's no confusion. And uh, if I want to just convert them back to water, then that's easy to do. As you can see, I dumped a bunch of stuff through the hole on the bottom of my car. I didn't realize it's going to be cleaning so much. So I, instead of vacuuming, all you got to do is just push the dirt to the hole. And now it's pretty clean. I want to lay a carpet this time. Keep that hole clear or uh, covered for mosquitoes. And then put water, water jugs on it. Yeah, so I threw out a couple of garb uh of uh, grocery store bags of garbage. I didn't realize I'd be cleaning so much. I accumulate a lot of tissue. I think I'll use one water container for tissue and the other to hold tea packets for the for the uh, peppermint. I'm walking over to Home Depot because I'm very interested in their barbecue tongs. They're $30. Nicely engineered. I just wonder if I just get them and play with them, just see what kind of use, if any, they could provide in, in the car. Because I could, I, I originally wanted the tongs for bread. I want to toast bread and maybe I could use the tongs to hold the bread over the propane flame. Because I really don't want any specialized toaster. <laughs> and... Yeah, I just want to keep things as simple, minimal as possible inside that car for room. And tongs will take up a little extra space, but they might be more useful than I realize. I just, I never really played with tongs in the car, but I've always thought, I've always wondered what it'd be like to have a little extra reach sometimes. I mean, I like what I see for a tool here. It's not incredibly long, but I mean, it could help with toasting. But I don't like the price. That is a highly engineered product. 
So I got some reaching tongs now. I'm not sure exactly what to do with them. I can reach if I don't feel like bending over much. See if, how useful it is when they lock in the place. You gotta like pull up. All right, I did about half and half uh, water and vinegar for my pants. Quarter liter each or so water bottle. I kind of feel like I wash my hands enough cleaning my clothes now. This is more than I ever wash my hands, keeping them clean and uh, with the with the vinegar and water, and then just the clothes are kind of like rags. Washing my hands with rags, but I still wear them. All right, so I'm trying to make more room for this Insta360 because I do have something that screws on the bottom of it. So I, I kind of want to keep this screwed together like more of a permanent thing. So then I could just hold it like this. I don't want to hold it on the its face. I'd like to keep it together and when it comes to uh, police interactions I want it all ready to go. Just pull out and start recording. <clears throat> but I was, I was, I've been pulling things out of this car and I, uh, I pulled this, this unit out. I think I got a cop here. Does he get to turn around? And I pulled this unit out. Wow, look at all the dust on this thing. This is an enormous amount of dust. I, I didn't realize was uh, collecting so much dust. And I pulled it out of here. So I got that space. I want to toss it. I don't want to keep this thing. This big unit. So. Clean it up and toss it. And then I try to figure out what to do with this space now. I got all this space. And I was keeping my cameras in there. And now I don't really have anything for them to rest on. They were, I guess they were mostly resting on the the uh, airflow when I want to take my water for a walk to fill it up or just drink it I much prefer the three finger loop over the one finger loop it's much more enjoyable to sit here and just hang with three fingers one finger is really uncomfortable I think I got this one from Walmart really liking these tongs they help reach across the, the car sometimes oh my god all right I'm gonna cook some eggs I didn't think it would uh, boil so quickly Kohler Wisconsin Kohler Wisconsin science heroes Oh, um, I didn't. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Okay. What the heck? Paint hardener. <laughs> All right.
Alright, I made a bad choice here. There's uh, quite a few cars passing back and forth. And there's quite a few neighbors walking around. I don't know if I could last parking here for the day. I do it for the shade. Because there's a really good chance at shade in the evening, I think. But I gotta deal with cars. Ex the, with the exhaust and the noise. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Maybe, you know, it's a temporary thing. Water tower, huh? Private water supply. Oh, for his residence, really? Some guy made his own water tower. Huh. I just want to confess, I'm very frustrated with this choice. I expected the road to be a lot quieter. But I just never can, I can't predict very well. It seemed like it was an off road or an off, off the main drag. But people seem to be preferring this as a, as a pathway, as part of their route. So uh, it's not a truck route, but it's uh, still a, quite active. And I'm smelling a dizzying amount of gas around here. Like, is there a gas station or something? I don't hear anything. I don't see anything. But I'm smelling a lot of gas. Like something is... Like there's some kind of a gas leak. Oh, great. And I got two-hour parking down in this region so it's a sign it gets busy that's great i don't i have to find shade parking i was looking at this one spot that's like two to 11 miles out out in the middle of the, the woods maybe I, I just i was hoping to get a little wi-fi today at the library but yeah, we got two hour parking. This has got to be private. A lot of this is it's going to be taken. It's going to be used. The river provides some cooling properties. Plymouth River Trail. So this is a parking lot, and they're saying two-hour parking in the entire parking lot. And then it's closed 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. It really gets that busy around here in Plymouth? Well, this is all a surprise. They even have a public restroom. When I see these, they even got a sign here. That's a sign it gets pretty busy when they set up these professional public restrooms. Oh, that's right. There's supposed to be some kind of an arch. Arch to dedicate the cheese capital of Plymouth. So that's what's bringing people here. The cheese capital. Two-hour parking down here. I'm heading to the library. I think the library is on the left. Man, these this uh, area is it's going to be difficult. I want to get out of here fairly quickly, I guess. So I got a glimpse of the the overhang over this road. I got to pass by it on my way back to my car. I'm just doing a circle, and I'm just not happy with anywhere to park around here. I don't know if I want to even visit the library. I don't see it as very attractive. It's just uh, too much constriction on the parking. I don't want to deal with all over. 
they I guess they they get large volumes of people around here and there's there's enough cars passing by my car where I'm at to to make me just want to get out of that spot maybe I'll go out into the countryside stop on white line to activate signal never seen that before all right so this is it cheese capital huh and they got a ton of people going through here by my car I've had enough of it that's just uh how populations are spread out around here there's a dam over there I, I was looking at the veterans park veterans memorial trail I, I didn't like what I saw for the parking over there either it's just it's all too constricted for me oh, they got flowers on the bridge that's kind of rare yeah they're doing work over there I can't park over there there's no shade got a dog on the sidewalk oh it's scared <laughs> but then there's another dog and he's barking wonderful <clears throat> I think it's for this old house. He's running away though. <clears throat> that dog wants to poop and bark. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I am so frustrated with this spot. I, yeah, it's it's just how Plymouth is. It's, I didn't know. I mean. A lot of people love Plymouth. It's the cheese capital. So I, I just need to move. I mean, I could park where I'm at uh, for the day, and, but it would be very unpleasant in my car. If I had like a van, that'd be kind of cool. I could ignore the people a little bit better, but not in my car. I have to be outside more. So maybe a mile or two from Plymouth on the outskirts of the city. I saw this tree, it overhangs parking. I want to back up even more. Right to the very edge, maybe. Oh yeah, like this guy in the grass. They don't have any signs saying you can't. And uh, I'm in the sun right now, but I expect to have shade parking for the evening time. Sort of. Maybe not great. Dang it. It would be best to park at this tree, actually, but I'd be in front of that dang home that somebody's, somebody owns that tree. So I've just been thinking, getting rid of a camera like this, getting rid of a camera is much easier than getting rid of an old phone, because I'm, I'm a little paranoid about the data that's on this phone that can be recovered. But I have no worries about this camera. So all I gotta do is pull that little SD card out and that, uh, that takes care of the memory issue. Morning. 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 Morning.